Well, it's going to be a quick garden tour. And we're going to see what we got in the garden. Of course, we got lots of tomatoes. You see the beans are starting to turn, so we've got them pretty much clipped. All the beans we wanted. We got cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli. You can see the broccoli after the first couple of cuttings we just let it go wild there I guess oh look at that kohlrabi big kohlrabi and get in there and see if that's any good yet of course we got our sunflowers I don't know you can you never you never plant a sunflower but they're everywhere I don't know but you see the beans that were on the fence the deer have been pretty much taking care of them i'll show you a quick video of the deer that come in here but what we're out here for it's not the corn the corn's ready we got lots of corn and like i say we had uh, two plantings we had uh they're about Oh, four weeks apart when they were planted one was in the greenhouse and the other one was planted in the ground and that all worked out but what we're here for is this surviving lone potato and you see the hoof tracks so the deer have been stomping on the poor thing let's see what we got for potatoes. I was uh, so excited to be putting in potato plants, sink potatoes, and this is my whole crop. You're seeing it live. Well, you're seeing it on this video anyway. My ground is so hard, I can never get potatoes to grow. So I put in the sawdust. Yep, so far no potatoes. Yeah. No potatoes yet. Have we got any potatoes in there? Oh man. That ground is like concrete. That's why I can't grow potatoes. All right, what do we got? I see the uh, original potato that I put in. You see this is sawdust. I did get potatoes. But I don't think that'll take us through the winter. What? And you see that ground is underneath the sawdust. It's just nothing but hard. Like I say, that's the potato that all this grew from. All, 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 all of this. It didn't get watered every day. No, I know. We got a little one here. I don't know what that is. Oh, I guess that's a that's a potato too. It started to get some potatoes on it. Yeah. I would say I would say next year. Next year, I'll plant them inside the enclosure. So number one, the deer don't eat on them while they're growing. And number two, they don't step on them. So maybe we'll mix them in underneath the beans. I mean, what the heck? The beans uh, grow on top, taters grow underneath. Should be good to go, right? But I am gonna have to do some soil amendments because that soil where it wasn't sawdust it's like a brick I 
can't even crack that. And that has sawdust all around it. There we go. That's hard for a potato to grow in, and it's even harder to dig them out. So, better luck next year. That's my whole crop. Oh well. Well, that was kind of a short video, so I've got to give you a bonus video here. Stay tuned for that. It's next. So for this project, you need a bucket of water and some lamp oil. I just happen to have an old uh, container of lamp oil. I'll show you what that's all about. Don't forget the water though. Mm -hmm. I was going to poke a hole in it, but that's a whole bunch easier. We're going to want to get our baling twine wet with lamp oil. So what do we have going on here? Well, I didn't notice it, but on the back side of my tree, away from the house, we got web worms. All oh, them wiggly, squiggly things. It doesn't kill the tree, but everything around it gets eaten. I don't like web worms. So, because I'm not an environmentalist, we're just going to take care of them web worms. So I got my bucket of water down here. Yeah, the heck with that cloth. When all else fails, you go to your standby two-cycle gas. Why two-cycle? It burns slower. It burns smoky. And we're only going to need a little bit here. I'm sure that's plenty. I say don't try this at home there we go now we're and them tent tent caterpillars they just don't like that I might have guessed they weren't going to like that. center of that tree. And then we can put out what remains with the water. Pretty easy. Putting that piece and that piece and that piece. Yeah, you're going to have a little bit of fire here and there. But it's all good. A little bit up in the tree yet. Yeah, that's that's a problem with using uh, that sitesole. That's not jute. It's uh, plastic, is what that stuff was. So you're gonna have to get that stuff put out. And that's how you get rid of web worms. Mm-hmm.